What is up, guys? It is Captain Justice here, and today I am bringing you a video about a review of the of an episode of Ultimate Spider-Man. I've been watching this show since like almost since the very beginning, and I am now starting a review on it. And this is also my first video on Marvel, anything Marvel at all. My first review of Ultimate Spider-Man. So let's get to it. So, this is Season 2, Episode 8, and I believe, unless I'm incorrect, the episode was called Carnage. And, obviously, if you don't know, uh, Carnage is a Spider-Man villain who is has a red symbiote. So, the episode begins with the return of the Green Goblin, and I do not personally like the Green Goblin in the Ultimate Spider-Man show that much. I mean... I don't mind too much, but, well, actually, I really don't like him. I hated him when I first saw it. I couldn't stand that whole thing. Now it's kind of growing on me, but still, I prefer the classic pumpkin bomb Green Goblin. But they did bring a lot of that stuff back, like the glider spider bombs, like the spider thing. I mean, not spider, uh, bat, bat stuff, like the bat explosives, battering things, and then, so, then, in the episode, Green Goblin, in, uh, kidnaps Peter Parker, because he feels, like, loyal or something, he feels Peter is loyal or better than his son in some way, I don't know, S some weird reason, and then injects him with this venom thing, and then, now he's, Carnage, but like an improved version, so now he's Carnage, so now he's the Carnage symbiote, so then he goes and starts attacking his team and everyone, but Norman Osborn has no idea that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, which I personally don't like, because in the comics, what happened was that the it was between Green Goblin and Spider-Man, those two were the only ones who knew who each other were, and they found out around the same time. I don't like how Harry knows that his dad's Green Goblin, because now it kind of ruins a lot of stuff. But whatever, whatever. So, here we have Carnage just beating everyone up, and that's what he's like. And this part I found very confusing. So, Harry gets the symbiote on him, but then he turns into Venom. Like, I was so confused. If any of you have a reasonable explanation for this, answer this in the comments section. But, so he gets the symbiote on him... And then he turns into Venom again. Instead of turning into Carnage, he's Venom. So what bo what bothers me is then they end up like uh, beating the, each other up, and I and they separate, or at least I they probably do. They separate Harry from the symbiote, and well, I'm confused. So is Venom gone? End. Is Carnage gone? I don't know. But I do know one thing. Well, actually, I know a lot of things. But one thing I do know... I'm, I mean, I don't mean knowledge-wise. Sorry, that sounded really weird. But anyway, so this episode was pretty good, but what, I, it, confusing. And uh, the green, they, what's cool is that Venom, Venom slash Carnage, so confused on who that was, I'm still really confused about that, and so Venom, I guess, and Spider-Man team up against the Green Goblin, and then Peter Parker has to talk to Venom, so then Venom goes back, and Harry gets separated from the symbiote, and then uh, Green Goblin, with, this is pretty cool, that he was like, Peter Parker got here so quickly, but yet Spider-Man is gone. That's strange, because he's starting to... Sus so that means he's starting to, su to suspect Peter Parker is Spider-Man, so then he's going to eventually find out. That's going to be cool. But so then the rest of the team shows up, and Iron Fist shows up in Spider-Man's costume, and, well, Harry... O At the end of this episode, Harry Osborn doesn't feel as good about this whole thing, but Harry and uh, Peter are, like, back to normal friends, so that's good. But what I don't get is how they're driving in a car and, well, it must be Norman Osborn's chauffeur, but Harry has, like, all this money to himself now. All in all, I give this episode, eh, uh, 
maybe seven seven point five out of ten. Just because I liked that Carnage was it question mark? I don't know if you I mean I I hope he'll come back, but I just don't know. What I don't well, a few extra comments I wanna add is I don't really like what they I just think with Venom they should have made him or rather Carnage, they should have made him more with less like less like Venom and more like how he is in the comics with like the really dagger sharp teeth, which they did have, but I wanted to be sharper, having like knives that he throws instead of just webs, just like they do in the comics and have him like they did include the spikes, but he didn't really use it that much. Like I wanted him to be more well like Carnage, like Carnage means violence, so that should have been he should have been more like evil. I hope they put Eddie Brock and Cletus Cassidy, which in case you don't know, Eddie Brock is the guy who's Venom originally, and I hope they include him in the show, and I hope they also include Cletus Cassidy as Carnage. But that's all I have for you guys, so let me know what you think about this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a good day, keep watching, see you next time, bye.